We are live, Bill. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. So excited that you're going to be doing an interview with me today for uh, our Rotary and your Rotary. Go ahead and start. Fire away. Okay. <laughs> the first question is: Tell us about yourself, who you are, where you came from, what you've done, and who you care about. Well, I'm uh, who, who I am. I'm I'm Bill Redmond. I'm the president of the Rotary Club for this uh, year. Uh, uh, I was a businessman all my life. And uh, who do I care about? I care about, uh, you know, my loved ones and my friends and uh, everybody that I associate with. Nice. And what, tell us about a little bit more about the businesses that you've run in your career. Well, I was, uh, I started out in the food business, uh, uh, working in uh, Safeway stores, and uh, when I was very young, in my early twenties, I uh, went into the wholesale food distribution business. I worked with an organization, a corporation, that had uh, twenty uh, wholesale distribution operations throughout Western Canada. Uh, I was with that company for thirteen years. I started out in sales. I went to, uh, and I was in six different different uh, cities, six different jobs. I went to. I became a sales manager and I was a general manager of three different operations. The largest one was Winnipeg. Then I became the assistant general manager of the uh, organization and the head office position. And uh, I was still in my mid, uh, mid thirties and uh, traveling all over North America and decided it was time to uh, uh, establish my own business. I established a wholesale food distribution in the, uh, Kelowna uh, and uh, ran it uh, for uh, oh, about uh, 25 years and uh, uh, merged with the Cisco organization. They bought our organization in 2001. I stayed on as the CEO for uh, three years for the transition. I retired from that in 2004 and uh, I still was uh, dabbling in business and uh, private equity funds. And uh, then I bought a, uh, in partnership with others, uh, a boat uh, dealership in 2000 and, uh, 2014. And uh, we just sold that a year and a half ago. Uh, we had a boat uh, dealership and a boat storage operation for 300 boats. And uh, just to fill my time now, I'm the president of the Rotary Club. <laughs> Does that cover it? Yeah. <laughs> I, were you originally from Kelowna, Bill? No, I was. Uh, I was raised in Central Alberta, and uh, I, I moved all over. I was in all, all uh, from BC to Manitoba. So. And how did you end up picking uh, Kelowna as your uh, landing point? Well, I, I, I did a market survey in, in, all of, in all of Western Canada, and the best opportunity for a wholesale food distribution operation, and uh, it happened to be Kelowna. And it obviously turned out to be the right choice, eh? <laughs> yeah, it worked out fine. That's great. Yeah. And I know you're an avid golfer, I believe, right? You do a lot of golfing? Yeah, I, I do. What are some of your favorite courses in the area that you like to go to? Well, I, I have uh, a lot of famous uh, favorite courses. Uh, my, I guess my the most thrilling course I've ever played is the Royal and Ancient Club of St. Andrews in Scotland. Played that uh, five times. Uh, I've played at Pebble Beach. I've played a lot of famous golf courses around the world. That's my hobby. And uh, I'm a member of a couple of golf courses here in Kelowna, the Gallagher's Canyon Club and the Kelowna Golf and Country Club. Uh, it's not a wise financial decision, but it, uh, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's a very, very good uh, uh, fellowship decision because I have uh, friends in both clubs and uh, really enjoy that. Yeah. That's great. I, hey, financial decisions, part of it is enjoy having things that you enjoy in life too. So <laughs> that's fantastic that you have golf that you love so much and you enjoy. And I know I've seen you on the golf course a couple, two, three times, and you're always happy to be out there and with your bag and ready to go. So 
Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. We were out, uh, uh, Troy and I were out in a Soyuz a few weeks back and they were golfing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like you are. can golf year round here sometimes. Yeah. Which is awesome. So, so tell us, what does Rotary mean to you? Well, you know, I joined Rotary in my early 40s and it really expanded my, my life and my outlook on the world. Uh, prior to that point, I, I was very ambitious and I, I uh, you know, I concentrated on, on my family and my career. But Rotary opened up uh, new avenues of me, of uh, fellowship with other people, uh, gave me an opportunity to use the skills I have to serve the community and the world, and, uh, and also to inspire others, hopefully. And uh, it just uh, really opened up the world for me. Uh, I, I'm really so honored to be a, a part of such a great organization. And really, I think what Rotary means to me more than anything is teamwork. You know, it's, it's a, uh, we're all a team, our members, uh, our community, uh, the businesses that we uh, inter interact with that sponsor many of our events, uh, the charities that we support, uh, Rotary International that supports uh, so many things uh, internationally and locally. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a great model of teamwork, you know, to serve others and, uh, and, and uh, establish fellowship. Yeah, I, I just love being part of the Rotary. And you've been a, a wonderful president. I've been so impressed with you, Bill. And I've been learning <laughs> from you. I've been, I've been in leadership roles for um, 30 some odd years and, and uh, I, I love the, the spark you bring to it and uh, you've done a, an excellent job and, and thank you so much. This has been a, a great year so far with uh, you as our president again. And uh, you've well, done- Thank you for that compliment, uh, Shauna. It means so, so much coming from uh, you whom I respect so much. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks Bill. Um, so I know you've been president for the second time, but you've been involved in other things like some volunteering and committees and on the board and stuff. Do you want to share with any, uh, share with us some of your experience with different activities? Yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I've, I've been on the board many, many years prior to being the president the first time. And uh, I, uh, I guess uh, the, the highlight committees that I've been on uh, are, our Pro-Am golf tournament used to raise, you know, for years it raised about $15,000 a year. And then uh, they talked me into being the chairman of the tournament a few years back, uh, probably in the 90s. No, I guess it was uh, just over to about 2005 or something like that. And I, with the, uh, with the committee of the day, changed the model of the tournament to make it an invitational golf tournament to, est to uh, um, establish relationships with many of the businesses in town. And uh, we went from making about $15,000 a year to uh, uh, within, I think, two or three years, we were raising over $100,000 a year. And it's just that, that word teamwork you know, is so important in Rotary. We can establish, you know, businesses and individuals that are like-minded as we are in Rotary. And really most businesses want to, you know, help others, uh, providing that they're, they're doing well. And, uh, you know, we established that. So that was one thing. Another uh, uh, really important uh, committee that, uh, I was on was the uh, to raise money for the Rotary Center for the Arts. And uh, the mayor of the day, Walter Gray, came to me. I was a president in 2000, and, in 2000 I guess. And he said, look, we want a, uh, an art center in town and uh, we, we need to get a grant from the government and we have to get some community funding to get this grant. And I was wondering if Rotary would like to do that. And, so my immediate response was, well, there's no darn way that I'm gonna have Rotary helping a whole bunch of people, rich people in the arts community. And uh, 
uh, Walter said, no, 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 that, that's not what it's all about. There's going to be about 50 organizations that are going to use that, you know, uh, uh, kids up to elderly people. And it's, it's not a bunch of, you know, rich uh, arts people. And so he convinced me to spearhead a uh, fundraising campaign to combine all the eight clubs in the, in the central Okanagan area and uh, they wanted to raise five, uh, us to raise $500,000. Well, I negotiated that we would raise $350,000. And so they accepted that and uh, we set out and we had a, a committee from all clubs, from members from all clubs. And we uh, had a, a, over three years, a lot of uh, 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 raffles, car raffles, boat raffles. Uh, I, I, I don't know, we had a, probably about a half a dozen sports cars that we gave away in these raffles over the three years. And we raised the $350,000 with mm -hmm. all the clubs. And uh, that was very uh, gratifying experience. Uh, you know, I've been involved in other committees along the way, but uh, I think those, those were the two highlights. Definitely. The, the Rotary Center of the Arts, I didn't realize that, uh, the, how it started and stuff. That's fantastic. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for sharing that with us. Do you want to talk a little bit about the fellowship at our club? Because you mentioned it before, how important it is. So, Well, you know, it, it, it all starts out with our weekly meeting. You know, if you have great weekly meetings, which we do, uh, you know, good speakers, uh, and, and by the way, many of the, re of the presentations that we've had from our own club members are, are just, just spectacular. Uh, for instance, uh, a few weeks back, Mark Rogers, who's the uh, president of the Fish and Game Association, gave a, a presentation. It was absolutely so interesting and, and, and such a great part of our community. Uh, Doug Gosso, a few weeks back, gave a presentation on his uh, experience uh, before he moved to Canada. He worked for Exxon and other companies. Uh, he was uh, managing oil refineries. Very interesting. And, and you know, many others in our club have, have done that too. And uh, so, you know, these, these weekly meetings where we get the, some of the best speakers, most interesting speakers, uh, we had a, we had a speaker last week from uh, an organization that uh, helps establish women uh, to go into the into the work uh, and, and, and to be employed. And uh, she brought with her a woman from Afghanistan that they helped. I mean, it was just so inspirational. It brought tears to your eyes. It was wonderful. And it just makes you so proud to be a part of Rotary. So, you know, all of this stuff, it's, it's fellowship. We all share this, this great urge to, you know, uh, get together again, enjoy each other's company and, and serve the community and serve the world. Oh, you're, you're so right with the presentations. I, I've been here for 20 years now and I worked really hard to get to know people and network and be in the community. I know so many people. I feel like I know so much, but I'm surprised weekly with the presentations that come and, I had no idea about what, what Mark was going to talk about and I had that I was here in Kelowna and wow, like every week is like really so interesting and, and I learn and become very proud of our community. Like Kelowna is, is pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. And, and, you know, another thing about fellowship, we have the greatest events, you know, we, we have some people in our, Jamie Briggs, for instance, is uh, a real spark plug in creating these events. Uh, this last Christmas, she had uh, 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 a, a local singer. I just forget her name now. <laughs> but, I do too. <laughs> yeah, but she was absolutely spectacular and the, and the program was so good. Everybody felt so good about being a Rotarian and being there. So, you know, we just, we throughout the year, we have a lot of events. We have, we have a, a bocce tournament and barbecue in the summertime and uh, you know we just have a, a lot of great events where people just get together and enjoy each other. 
Yeah, we had our after five event uh, last week at uh, uh, BNA. It was awesome. I think we had like 30 or more people there. It was fantastic. Such a great turnout and everybody had so much fun. So it's nice to get together just casually uh, once a month too. I, I couldn't make it, by the way. I had food poisoning that day. Oh, no. <laughs> I got That's over it. But oh. Anyway, yeah, I yes. heard it was good, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was very, very, very good. Are there any particular members you'd like to take a moment to mention that you admire? Well, you know, you, uh, you gave me a list of things you were going to talk about, and I looked at that, and I thought, well, you know, uh, we have, uh, I think we're about, between 60 and 65 members in our club now. And I would just hate to, to you know, highlight any special members. They're, they're all wonderful. And they all support Rotary as they can, uh, some with their time, some with their skills, you know, some with uh, donations. Uh, and, uh, you know, all, all Rotarians are, are special people. Anybody in the past, because you've been part of Rotary for a while, that uh, maybe is not with us anymore? That well, I, I remember we uh, there was a fellow named Harold Henderson who uh, joined Rotary like in the fifties, uh, became the president, and he became uh, at the time the highest ranking Canadian in Rotary International. He was wow. the, the vice president of Rotary International. Uh, he was just the finest fellow. Uh, we had several people when I joined the club that were still members that had joined in the 50s and early 60s. They had established uh, at the time uh, an uh, uh, a thing called Pleasant Vale Homes. It was for low income seniors. And I, I believe they had something like, uh, I don't know, 40 or 50 units uh, in Kelowna, uh, low, low rent, for seniors, you know, that uh, had, uh, uh, you know, not a lot of wealth. And uh, they established that they built it. Uh, they were given the property from the city of Kelowna. And uh, it was just, it was just, a, just a great initiative. And that thing now, it, it, it served its time. It's been torn down. And uh, our company has, uh, or our uh, club has, uh, given it over to uh, uh, the province and they've built a, uh, a unit for low income housing. Uh, however, the seniors that were in the original buildings, their rent is grandfathered. And I think they pay, uh, I just was asking somebody yesterday, I think uh, some of them still pay as low as 400 to 450 a month. So, and then there's, you know, just a few of those left from the original group. But what a, what a great thing. These, these old members, uh, Harold Henderson, uh, Howie Morgan, uh, Ernie Winters, these people are all deceased now, but they were giants. Wow. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. You mentioned your family earlier. Tell, tell us a bit about your family. Well, I, uh, my uh, first wife is deceased. Uh, and uh, I have a daughter, uh, Leah, who uh, lives in uh, Winfield. Uh, her and her husband have a hobby farm there. I have a son that lives in, uh, in town here. And uh, that's my family. It's, it's nice to have them close, I bet, eh? It is, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> what is something people would be surprised to know about you? Well, gosh, I don't know. I'm kind of an open book. I don't know if there's too much to surprise. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I hope I don't embarrass myself too much, but I, uh, I don't know. About, maybe, maybe they'd be surprised that, you know, I cry during chick flick movies. Aww. Anything is sad. So, you know, uh, I love that. That's awesome. That's probably what drives you, like your heart to try to make a difference with Rotary. Because like when you were sharing the stats the other day with that uh, Rotary sent $15 million to Ukraine and that the polio has been, uh, no cases of polio for over 20 weeks now. And all these shelter boxes we're sending to um, Turkey and Syria to help. Like 
I think you need to have that heart to, to, to make that difference. Well, you know, I'm glad you brought that up. You know, I, I'm just so proud of our club this Rotary year, starting on July the 1st. We have uh, donated or have earmarked now uh, over $210,000 uh, to charities. Now, that's in partnership with, uh, you know, our sponsors and others that have donated. Just uh, lately, we're on an initiative to uh, raise money for the uh, victims of the earthquake in Syria and, uh, and Turkey. And uh, so far, we've raised in partnership with the uh, Lois and Colin Pritchard Foundation, uh, between, uh, well, it's over $41,000 so far. So, you know, it's just, it's just a, it's just great to be part of a team that does something like that. So, so this year, you know, we're over $210,000. That's it's amazing. And then we're, we're uh, helping to fund a, uh, uh, a building initiative for uh, Freedom's Door, which is an addiction treatment center. Uh, they're uh, expanding uh, to uh, provide accommodation for women. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, inspirational what they do. I, I tell you, there's so many sad headlines you hear and, and so many tragedies you happen in the world. And uh, that is one of the main reasons why I love being part of Rotary is like Rotary can instantaneously be there to help because it's mm -hmm. such a big organization around the world. It feels like I'm part of something that's actually helping instead of just like, oh, that's too bad and and, and yeah. feeling kind of useless. So yeah, I love being part of Rotary. What else would you like to share about yourself and or the Rotary Club? I think you've got it. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think we covered pretty well everything. I, I don't know if there's anything else that, uh, you know, I, but I, I just I just want to repeat how, how honored I am to be a part of this uh, Rotary team. And uh, it's just uh, just a joy for me. And I'm honored to be the president again. You know, I, they, they must have been scraping the bottom of the barrel when they recycled the president. <laughs> no, you, you were the you were the right one. It's been it was definitely tough for everybody in the last three years, but you were the right one to take over this year. And you really helped and supported us to to be stronger. And I love that you make sure that you talk to everybody, make sure everybody's involved. And because there's such great people that, that that choose to join Rotary, right? So you, you keep them engaged, you make sure that they feel important and they're valued and they are. So you've just been, a, you've been the right president for this year to help us just like, and look how we've been growing new members and it's just been the energy and the presentations. And like you said, the other events we're doing and the fellowship, it's just, it's just been a joy every, every week. Well, thank you. I, I, I do want to, uh, there's one member that I do want to rec re to uh, highlight. Uh, Lynetta Perry uh, brought our club through yeah. COVID, yeah. you know, on Zoom, did a fabulous job, made it fun. Uh, and it's tough to make it fun over Zoom. Uh, and she has taken over as the secretary this year. She's just done a, an outstanding job of secretary. I just wanted to highlight that. And uh, uh, she's, she's been a, a great Rotarian. I totally agree. She's been amazing. And her notes that she does for our meetings and stuff, because I hate missing a meeting, but if I do, you read the notes and you feel like you, you got a good chunk of, of what happened. And she does yeah. such great minute uh, meetings for our, our board meetings and that kind of yeah. stuff. So. Yeah, that was a tough and one. thank you for doing this. This is nice to highlight members. Uh, uh, I'm very pleased to be part of it, but uh, I'm looking forward to you highlighting other members too. And uh, thank you for doing this. Oh no, I love I love hearing people's story and what got them started and why they're part of Rotary and stuff. So I, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So thank you, Bill. I appreciate your time. Okay, well, thank you very much. My pleasure. Okay, have a Take wonderful care. day. Bye bye.